All right, welcome in, hockey fans. It is a, another player profile from the goal out. It's finally time to get the captain from the University of Denver on Cole Gutman. Cole, you and I have talked quite a bit this year, but this is the first time we've had a chance to really dig into what's going on at the University of Denver. Uh, you guys are on top of the NCHC right now. You're playing real well. Came off another sweep. Uh, just tell me about the season in a whole, if you can kind of recap it to where you are right now. Yeah, it's been a great year so far. Um, I think we've got a really good group in the locker room over there. And um, it's been a lot of fun. We, we have a really close team on and off the ice, and I think that's translating to some of our success. But um, our depth has been really good the whole year, and uh, we brought a really good freshman class in. So I really think that's helping towards the success from week in and week in. You know, the opening uh, weekend that you guys went on the road and you kind of struggled a little bit, you guys told me all, almost to a man, that you were going to improve that and it was going to get better. What's changed? What's made you a better yeah. road team? I mean, every year you go through uh, periods of adversity. And like I said, we have a pretty young team uh, with all the freshmen that we brought in. But I think just learning how to play through that adversity and play on the road and play at home and just kind of adjust to your surroundings and whatever's happening during the season has helped us in proof of what we started with. When you get a C on your jersey, uh, it means a lot of different things. What's it been like for you? Has this group been uh, a group you would say you've been easy to lead or just lead by example or what's it been like? Yeah, I mean, it's an honor, but with this group, I feel like we have a lot of leaders and we have a really good leadership group as well. So when you got all the guys doing the right things, it, it makes your job as the captain a little bit easier. But I think just leading by example has been something that's been important to me. Everybody looks at your bio and they say, Los Angeles, California. Tell us about that growing up playing hockey in California and how'd you get to Denver? Yeah, I mean, um, I played hockey in California until I was around 16, 17-ish. But um, I loved playing there. Um, played with all my buddies growing up and we had a really good group back at the uh, LA Selects and LA Junior Kings. And um, hockey in California mm -hmm. is definitely growing from what it was a long time ago and um, it's a great place to develop. So we had good coaches uh, and a bunch of good players to play with. How did you end up at Denver? Um, it's been a school I've always <laughs> wanted to go to. So I remember when I was uh, nine or 10, I came to a Denver game with my California team when we were in a tournament in Colorado and kind of just fell in love with it right away and uh, pretty much wanted to come here since. So as time went on, um, it was kind of a goal of mine to earn a chance to, to come here. And luckily, I'm pretty grateful that it did. Give us a recruiting pitch. If you're talking to somebody out there right now that's considering uh, playing NCAA hockey and Denver's an option, why should they come here? I mean, it's an unbelievable place to be. Like you look at the history and, and the winning success that has gone through over the years, it's, it's pretty remarkable. And um, it really prepares you for the next level, playing in the NCHC and having the coaching staff that we have here, they, they really know how to prepare you to get to the next level. So you look at the alumni that are around here. I know they're uh, a big part, uh, summertime, during the season, all the time. Uh, the alumni means a lot. But when you think about guys like Troy Terry and Logan O'Connor and so guys like that that are still battling and doing their, their job at the next level, how does that start? Or how does it start at Denver to propel them? Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, the coaching staff and the systems that we play, and playing in the NCHC really prepares you for the next level. But um, it's awesome having those guys come back in the summers and it really shows us what it takes to get to the next level, just seeing them in the gym, seeing them on the ice. And I'm sure when they were here, they had older guys coming back that were in the NHL or some sort of pro that were showing them the ropes as well. So just seeing their, their habits on the off season really helps develop the younger guys as well. Coming down the stretch now in the NCHC, I know you're taking it one game at a time as you should. Um, but last year, it didn't end the way you wanted to. And I know you guys had a chip on your shoulder. Is that chip still there? Or is it getting a little smaller? Yeah, no, it's definitely still there. <laughs> I mean, it's more that we just have pretty high expectations for ourselves. And last year, we didn't meet those expectations. But the expectation here at Denver is to win a national championship. And obviously, it's been done before. So we know what it takes to do it, just from speaking to the guys who have done it in the past. But um, going into playoffs coming up and this last stretch before, um, we're pumped and we just got to do what we can to meet those expectations. You got some home games coming up. We're going to start this weekend with St. Cloud State, and then Minnesota Duluth is going to come here. Um, how important is it for you to continue to have success at home and on the road? Yeah, it's extremely important. Um, points are tight in the NCAC right now, so getting these wins are pretty huge coming to the final stretch of the season. A lot of people want to know what you guys want to do after, uh, after you're done playing hockey, and I don't mean your career in college. I mean, when you're off the ice here, what do you do? What do you like to do? Yeah, I mean, um, away from hockey, at home, I love spending time on the lake, going to the beach, 
Um, play a little bit of golf when I can, and uh, just hang out with my friends at home. So if you're uh, if you're not playing the game, do you like to watch it? Yeah, I definitely like to watch it. Uh, usually when I'm hanging out at home after practice, uh, we'll throw a game on the computer while I'm cooking at night. We'll just have it on in the background, and just glance over, and then uh, the next day we usually watch the highlights in the locker room and stuff like that. Paul, I told you off camera, I'm going to tell everybody on camera, if uh, you guys win the national championship, I marked down January 28th, a day that you came back and you kind of, I call it the Cole Gutman show in the third period because you took control. Tell me about that particular game and what was going through your head when you guys were trailing and knew you had to get a win. Yeah, I mean, I thought that game was pretty big for us as a, as a whole group. Um, good teams need to learn how to win with some adversity, so it was great that we found a way to win and uh, when you're down two goals with not much time left, you really got to rally together and, and do it as a team. And I thought um, all the guys on the bench and who the guys who were on the ice really had a positive mindset, and I thought that's what kind of led to the result. Final one for you. Uh, obviously, goaltending is big on any team. Uh, Magnus has been really big for you. He just came off a long stretch of shutout uh, action. How big is Magnus Krona in the net for you? And I don't mean his size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been awesome. He's been so good for us lately. And you see three games in a row, he got a shutout. And, um, it's pretty unreal to watch that. And when you got confidence in your goalie, it really helps the whole team play the game that it's supposed to be. And uh, there's been a couple times where we kind of left him hanging and he just st stood, stood tall for us, which was really awesome to see. Cole Gutman, appreciate your time and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you, appreciate it.